Yeah, we'll go with Daymare. That up a bit there. Foul. Let's do an eight. I think an eight is probably good. Let's see, several hours have gone by since communications with Aegis Laboratory have been cut off. Now two teams of highly trained Hades, Hexacore Advanced Division for Extraction and Search operatives are called to investigate. Their mission? Find the missing researchers who seemingly vanished without a trace and retrieve sensitive, highly classified materials for a clandestine branch of the U.S. government. Tasked with gaining access to the lower levels of the lab, special agents leave? Was that was that his name? Leave? Live? Livey? Livey. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Barges into the second. Is it special agent Li Livey barges? Or he's barging into something. Barges into the second surface entrance, and it is there that he discovers the security system has initiated a facility-wide quarantine, automatically shutting down or shutting everyone. Or, eh. Automatically shutting everyone in and serving as a warning to who to would-be invaders that some kind of experiment has gone horribly, horribly wrong. I can't read things sometimes. It happens. All that matters on the chessboard are good moves and the actions you take to achieve this result. What I do is bide in the shadows, where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. This time, I had to involve my hand directly. But let's get things in the right order. So I began the first phase of my plan. Requesting the evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Ball Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires this be a terrible mishap. I, I think we get exposed to some kind of gas, a corrosive agent that latches onto the lungs, warping people outside. Can anyone hear me? Don't me. I don't know if that counts as corrosive gas. Type of corrosive gas that doesn't kill everyone that it inhales it. Why is it a so-called gas leak? Is it not a gas leak? Like, surely it is a gas leak, right? It may not be a leak, but it's definitely gas. You do understand that this assignment could be our last. Well, you know, if I were a betting man, I think I'd bet that the odds of, uh, Making it home in one piece are uh, a lot better with you on the battlefield. But that's if, you know, Gomer Pyle doesn't put us down first. What? Just shut the fuck up, Leaf. God it's damn leave. It's Leaf. Okay. Don't let him get to you, kid. That shepherd squawks at anyone with a bigger stick, which is pretty much everyone. Never should have pulled his ass out that fire. 
back in room in 94. Thanks, Hayden. Er, understood, Major. Get it? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should just let the past go. It's weird the helicopter pilots have names. Usually they're just nameless helicopter pilots. I guess I'd be closer to RE1 with a helicopter pilot. In the set for November Foxtrot India. Standing by for mission go. Are we finally in the game? It, it took a little bit. It's interesting, a lot of uh, a lot of talk. That's way that helicopter's way too big for only four people. Oh my god. He's just gonna he's just gonna hang there. Okay. As explained during the brief, the data interchange device is still being tested for field use. Nevertheless. It will become your most important resource, allowing you to manage weapons, consumables, consult maps, health state, and above all, allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. Okay. Sure. Okay, I went. I changed some settings around. Uh, I turned off motion blur. It was a little hitchy turning around. You know, I'd rather have high frames than whatever. Than, uh, motion blur anyway. Some ammo. Inventory. This tab contains all consumables and key items that the character finds throughout the game. It's also, it also contains the character's weapons in the upper section. This tab... Uh, you're just not going to tell me in-game. You're going to make me read each tab individually? Okay. Uh, status tab is a status tab. I get that. Map tab and documents tab. I'd be more willing to read that if you put it me... Or you show me it when I tap to that thing. Uh, no mouse controls for right now, so just a uh, keyboard. Um, and I, can, I cannot go up to those guns, so I'm just gonna assume I have machine gun, or I guess it'd be some machine gun and pistol. With, um, bullets for pistol and bullets, for, well, this is bullets for pistol and bullets for machine gun. Yeah, I, I can't, cannot go up and down here. One, two, and three switches tab. I'm on the helipad. Do I have a bunch of files already? If I do, I oh F key. Gotcha. Hexacore Biogenics Force. The D I D D I O I O O I or O I O. And the H additive. Let's see here. Uh, the Biogenics Force codename Leave. Special agent, so that that's closer to just, just put that at the tram sequence at the beginning, you know, Half Life. Just oh, that is not go back. Q is go back. Uh, the DID or IOI, whatever. No, it's the DID, Data Interchange Device, Interchange Device. As a result of the long-standing collaboration between Hexcore Biogenet or Biogenetics Tech Division and Vortex, a leading manufacturer of electronic equipment, the, the DID. Is the first major step in the new technological frontier for the company's private militia. While still in a trial phase, the DID is a device with many potential applications. Initially conceived as a transistor radio, there's a lot of this, so I'm gonna start skimming now. Uh, let's see, and I got changes. It's on, it's, this is your pit boy. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. It's on your right arm, it's revolutionary, you can touch things with it. Uh, it manages your resources, your audio logs, your ID tags, and you can plug it into things. So it's the Pip Boy. Lengthy and costly. Wait. The DID is the culmination of a lengthy and costly stage of planning and development. We urge that extra care be taken. Okay. And H additive 
the immunostimulant produced by Hades, and I assume it makes it so you're... Let's see. Molecules act as a helper to resolve the state of confusion in subjects as a... Is this the health kit? Yeah, that's the health kit. I was going to say it was going to be their reason that you don't turn into a zombie, but I do have a gas mask on. Does kind of look like you can open them. Graphics should technically be just... It went from ultra to high because I wasn't sure what was causing that hitching. Like, I was turning and hitching was happening. Uh, it turns out it was motion blur. I turned that off and that good to go. Also, uh, this seems like it would have been perfect for the Pip-Boy, right? He told me about all the electronic devices it uses, but no, I, I just touched the door. Um, we got security and a bunch of dead people. Four is, why is four flashlight? It is E, E's not lean. E must be item. If I hit Q, this happens. But E does not flash the other box. Am I gonna just like get mauled before you tell me how to equip guns? Oh, there we go. It's like a Resident Evil Revelations 2 with that little. It's clearly meant for a controller. I'm doing it with a keyboard right now because I don't have my controller with me. I could always switch to a controller. But I, I saw complaints of uh, clunky controls, so I, I figured I'd try both. Fragments of video we pulled from surveillance. It appears that several tanks labeled CSR-3 have already been attached to the main hoisting unit. I'll say I'll stand by at the main doors to the freight elevator. Over. Liev here. Copy that. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion yes, leaked out from a couple tanks crammed into the area. There are also sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over. I've seen these. These. That's not gas. It's definitely a dude in a trench coat. I know how this goes down. That's some neat visuals. I like that. Got the truck just precariously hanging off of a elevator? A bridge? I don't actually know what this is. Is it just a tiny lift? to go up and down this one ramp, maybe. We got a big old fire over here. We don't like, care about that. This guy wasn't even a zombie. He just died from, you know, workers and competence. Had the zombies not broken out, he would have got a lot of workers comp for his workers and competence. That seems slightly important. I don't think I'll be able to touch that, though. Can I break? I don't have a, uh, a melee weapon. Let's see. Hit two and you switch. And I can punch if I don't have anything equipped. I was kind of curious if I could break this. It's a box, you know. It's a box. This is Resident Evil-esque. You kind of want to punch it. Do I? I don't actually do anything with these. I assume I need to turn the crane on or the elevator. Probably elevator. Lift those up to the top. And the other guy is doing the fun stuff of shooting the zombies. Overdrive Maximum King. Did the, the zombie invasion just happen at the very last second this guy was putting this in? <laughs> I, I would kind of be tempted to finish. He's so close to putting it in. That guy has completely turned to a skeleton. It's about time you guys got here. Did you eat him? You're with emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be alright. Can't move very far though. That's unfortunate. Is he holding Listen, his leg? I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as survivors? I can. Survivors? Yeah, well. What is with his left arm? With that. Anyway, oh, it's on his chest. I'll be waiting here. It looked all weird and stumpy. I just need a like it was. It was going through his little... torso. No, it, it's because uh, I'll just terminate him. I'm just going to shoot him now. Okay. I couldn't move aim away, so <laughs> I I just shot him. 
He was going to turn into, a, turn into a zombie. I know it. Magazine quick slot. In order to perform the reloading action, you must first select the magazine from the quick slot sub menu. Fast reload. Press the R button to reload. Or press the reload button once to perform the fast reload. The character will replace the current magazine with a new one, dropping the former on the ground. The drop magazine can be picked up at a later time. Oh, that's neat. Hold R on the reload button. Heh. Hold R. Down the reload button to perform the slow reload. The current character will replace the current magazine with the new one, placing the old one back in the inventory. From the items tab, it's possible to combine ammo boxes with your magazines. Gotcha. Okay. That's that's neat. I'm going to lose so many magazines. <laughs> so, uh, you got anything, dude? Hit mash F on him? No? Let's see, uh... Only three people are working here. Not great. You should have at least one more person. I just want to know who turned him to a skeleton. The spookiest of all the enemies. Uh, let's let's check. What's the ammo looking like? This it's very slow to get to the ammo. Um, that's the. Oh no, I don't have machine gun ammo. That's the ma that's the magazine. Oh, and I can actually swap between swap between them now. So, yep, yeah, machine gun or some machine gun and pistol. Um, how do I uh drop, combine, and use? How how do I put it in my quick tab? Oh, does E and Q cycle through them? Maybe. I think that's what E and Q does. Is there a save? There is no save button. There's checkpoints, but there's no save button, so... I'm thinking there may be save terminals. Leave to Mission Control, Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. This all brings back memories from 94. Especially that day, when you opened fire on all those poor, innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major. And those He's innocent a bit of a people grudge. weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. Proceeding to objective. Over. I can only assume he's been passive-aggressive about that incident for four years. Or Liev, or Leave, however, whoever's saying it pronounces it, uh, has been having to deal with that for four years. Also, we got the, uh, at the Half-Life 1 container room, just containers over just a very precarious pit. Also, uh, weird. You can aim down your sights, but if you go too far down, he stops. A little odd. Nothing I can't work with here. Is that a sliding door, I guess? It's weird, the, uh, the door's open. I kind of assumed there'd be a door on the side. A lot of, is that another skeleton? Someone must another have skeleton. had a lot of fun down here. Is this what you'd call fun? Maybe if he had a trombone. Perhaps. I have to restore power first. Gotcha. Can I? There's, it says first aid kit. I kind of want to take the first aid kit. Uh, Admiral's Diary translated from Japanese. And it's from 1945. Why do, why do they have this here? Honor. A word that the Allied forces will never understand. Thousands of innocent souls in seconds destroyed by a U.S. atomic bomb. Not those of soldiers. Not those of men who have made a choice to fight and sacrifice themselves in service of the great nation. But those of Pacific children. Or civilians, not children. Well, it probably was children. It was two cities it's definitely children 100% children but not all children so civilians really Pacific civilians who lived in those cities now totally canceled that's an odd way to phrase it women and children our families are gone obliterated by their desire for dominance by their desire to show the world the strength of their science the atomic bomb but now the time has come to show them the strength of our science it took years of hardship to develop terrible weapons but the worst we could imagine simply arrived by chance. We have, cho we have chosen 
to keep the scourge our worst discovery a secret because it was too inhuman even for unit 74 where men were granted the luxury of releasing the darkness of their spirits a weapon too inhuman even for war but not too inhuman for those western people who lost all traces in honor by the push of a bun the men of this crew the fathers and sons now deprived of their loved ones have renamed it shujin the condemnation the world literally works wait the world literally works and histories will remember the people i don't understand that since i i just the world comma literally works and histories will remember the people behind the atomic bomb as villainous and blatant a mass genocide that will tarnish their conscience forever but this is not enough and not enough or not for us not for the families they canceled in one second perseverance is better than defeat i don't understand the use of canceled that's very weird very weird to be in a game about murdering people i, I just shot a guy in the head you think they just say dead i don't know the new emperor ordered that uh shujin be spread over the enemy a divine noiseless wind but extremely lethal our condemnation will tear their hearts out and lead them on a path to the same suffering we are experiencing we departed from Tokyo a few hours ago and expect a long journey to the American coast where the plague will be unleashed and a story er, and a story out of their science fiction novels will run its course. At this very moment, a second I-400 of the glorious Japanese Imperial Navy should be leaving Osaka, ready to deliver the second and last reserve of the plague to a top secret location in Germany. Unit 74 no longer exists, swept away by a 20 kiloton blast, but its creation is more alive than ever and it can still shift the balance of power in the world in our favor. We must do everything we can and leave the rest to fate. Admiral Shinji M. The rest is the rest is legible. That's basically the end. That's his signature. There could be no more else, unless he put a P.S. at the end. In which case, uh, that'd be pretty funny, actually. He wanted that skeleton. He's reaching for the skeleton. But is there a dog with a squeaky toy in here? I hear squeaking. Health system. In order to use an item, you must first select it with a quick slot sub menu. Hold Q. Hold down the use item button to use a selected consumable. Using an item will cause the character stats to temporarily change. Using an item may also increase the overdose value of the character when it reaches a certain level and start damage. Okay. Reaching the overdose value of the character when it reaches a, reaches certain level and start damaging the character over time. When the character is not affected by any changes to status, the overdose value will slowly decrease over time. Okay. So you can't use a bunch of health kits in a row. This is definitely feeling like <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 1 with the, the weird descriptions of things. Candy bar? And the candy bar, sweet. He's gonna need it after this light jog. So is everyone just still dead? I kind of assume they're all gonna come alive at the same point. Maybe not that guy? Doesn't have a head. But a bunch of them, assumedly, they're all gonna jump up at me. Should uh, install some fans, get rid of this fog some blood it's probably to another skeleton oh no it's just a dead guy you could have been a skeleton we could have been great you did have a document though looks like a bank transaction made out to Jay Phelps for one million dollars I'll take a uh, one million dollars maybe not if I'm working in this secret laboratory I may want to leave first. That is a big flashlight. That's that's like a like a safety emergency light. Something you used to whack people over the head with. Note to trainee: I read your file, Kevin, and your resume is quite impressive. Despite your age, it seems you've already installed and maintained your share of sophisticated equipment that most techs here don't even know exist. Now, I'm not trying to scare you, but I want you to know exactly what you're getting into. I heard you asked a co-worker what kind of research is being ex conducted here. I had a hazard to guess, it must involve the UFOs they found off the coast of this island. These scientists are clearly seeking ways to permanently alter the human genome to create superhuman alien hybrids. 
joking obviously, but this is a top secret government facility and the suits here won't hesitate to lock you up. Oh, there's so much more. Throw away the key if you give them a reason to. Places like this naturally employ state-of-the-art computer systems, machinery that go well beyond the scope of most technicians. Luckily for you, the thermoelectric generators, although extremely powerful, are very simple to use. The only real hurdle we'll come across is the old or the odd time when a power outage occurs. In this situation, all you need to do is find a PC to check which areas are shored, indicated by the flashing red dot. Unfortunately, the repair process isn't automatic, so you'll have to restore power manually using the control panel to bypass the areas. Just follow the instructions on screen and there won't be any problems. Uh, don't forget, loose lips sink ships. Mick O. Hagen. Hagen. Chief Maintenance Officer. Okay, that's actually useful. I'm glad I didn't just uh, zip zoom by that. Wait, warning. Use the combine function in your DID to reload magazines. Okay. I, I wish this was a little faster. Yeah, that was only half of a magazine. Um, what? There we go. I need like a, a quick, I need to like hit space, move over one, hit space again, quick combine. I do not have a quick combine. Can I have those glasses? That's not glasses. Um, that's a map. Okay, um, can't do anything here. I guess I just need to memorize that these parts are broken. Perhaps. Ah, the disappointment section is turned off. Remember to pull it. Oh, oh God. Uh, I wish I had some zoom. I can't zoom in over there. Um, well, I guess we'll just hop back over here. What ones are off? So we have off, D, A, H, A, and C, D. Hit F. I keep hitting E on things. <clears throat> and I'm dying, apparently. Or I'm finally becoming a real boy. Let's see. So, O, F is off. So, O, F. Offices? That's the only thing that starts with an O. Then we have D, A, and D, H, which are also off. And we had C, D, I think. So, Canteen Dorm, not... So, we turn Security. We turn on Server Room. Uh, D, A is broken, so we can turn on Reception Hall. The Control Room. The Lab Area. Helicopter... No? Not Helicopter Access? I can't do all of it at the same time. Okay. Submarine chat. How much is helicopter access? That's HA. Is HA broke? Well, I guess HA is not on that list over there, is it? Okay, I guess HA is broken. So I, I can turn everything on, but uh, oh, now I can turn the cargo area on too. CA. Ah, uh, that I can't turn the helicopter bay on. Saying I walk through there. Yeah, I, I can't see that. But H A is oh H A is here. It was H A and D A. I thought it was that was D A and then D something else. Duh, I'm an idiot. Thankfully the game. Oh god, there's zombies. No, no. What the hell are these things? Okay, that was a very just abrupt zombie. Kind of thought, thought there'd be a little more build up than I turn around and a zombie is sprinting at me. So uh, let's reload this gun. And that should mean I have one that has seven in it. Six. I can't count, apparently. Combine with this. I'm gonna hit escape a hundred thousand times. It's just gonna happen. And I can hit one and I can go to fists. I don't know how well fists are gonna do. I have a stamina bar down there. Okay, that was the doctor scientist there. He was the one who became a zombie. On to the sub shaft. 
We're both high enough for helicopters, but low enough for submarines. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. 